Hello everyone! In this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get these wrong. So I don't want you to use your calculator and of course here is the problem. We have 12 divided by 4 and times 3. So what is the answer? Of course most of you out there like yes I can handle this, this is basic like division and this is basic multiplication, I learned this stuff in the third grade and that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. We have option A 9 and option B 1. So go ahead and put your answer into the comment section and I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just, in just one minute and then of course I'm going to really kind of emphasize this extremely important math topic. So let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. So the answer is either going to be like A9 or 1, right? So some of you have the answer as 1, others have the answer like 9 and of course this can turn into a big argument. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it in, get it this right now. So here is the problem obviously, right? We have 12 divided by 4 and times 3. So now what make all the difference in the world in the order we do this problem, right? So do we do division first and then multiplication or should we do multiplication first and then division? Okay, because obviously whatever order you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And then for these little acronyms in right here, I and again we are talking about the order of operations. We are talking about this type of operations, so mathematical operation, yeah? So a math operator is a thing like addition right here, we have like subtraction, multiplication and division. So, okay, so these are things that we can do with numbers, right? So mathematical operation, these are basically the main ones we need to understand. So I hope everyone knows these operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay, this is first step we need to understand this, okay? This is mathematical operation and we need to know it. So again, let me just read this to you. This is PMDMC order right here. So this is the main popular, the most popular order in the world. So we have bottomers, but I want to show with PMDMC. This is like order that we need to know right here and right now. So, so again, let me just read this to you. This is parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. Now a lot of students think and you know it's really not their fault, a lot of students make this error. So you know obviously there is confusion about it, but most people think that you're going to do this in a strict left to right order. In other words, what you see from the left hand side, you're just going to go to the right hand, yeah? So you're going to do that in that exact order, so from left to right. In other words, you're always going to do multiplication, alright, before division. And that makes sense. And then we of course would do addition before before subtraction. So however, that's not the way this works. Okay, so how does it work? Well, it works in this way. You're definitely going to do the parentheses as I described. So the first step, these parentheses, and however you, you're going to work from left to right. But when you get to the multiplication and division part and addition and subtraction part, what you're going to do is whatever you see comes first from left to right. So in other words, if you have division, then multiplication, right here, if you have division, then multiplication, because we're going from left to right, yeah? Then you're going to do the division first. So this is like one group right here, right here, this is like one group, and this is like another group. So multiplication, this is like another group. So if you have multiplication, then division, then of course you do multiplication first, then division. But if you have division, then multiplication, you're going to do, to do it in this way. Okay, so if you made this error, I'm happy you made it because you won't make this again. So you'll be like, okay, now I, I go ahead and apply the order of operations and now I'm pretty, this is pretty easy stuff for me. So here's, here's our problem. So anytime you're faced with 
with like a numeric expression and you'll get better at this through practice. So you want to be thinking to yourself, okay, PMDMC order and let's, let's try to solve it right now. So this is like a little bit notes before, but right now we are going to solve it correctly. So just listen one minute and we will solve it. Okay, so you move on to the next thing. Now I'm going to say, all right, are there any powers, parentheses, exponent right here? So first two step, are there any parentheses exponent? We don't have it, like we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, so I don't see any of those. So now I'm thinking to myself, multiplication and division. I will go right here, I will do, we have like 12 divided by four and times three. So I will go right here. So we have 12 divided by four and times three. So if we work in this way, if we don't think about groups right here, so we just go with multiplication first. We have four times three equal to 12 and 12 divided by 12 right here, the last step, which is equal to one. But as I told before, we need to work with groups right here. So multiplication and division, this is like one group. This not like a, this is before this one or multiplication before division or division before multiplication. This is like a group right here. So we don't need to work in this way. So this is incorrect. If this is incorrect answer. And uh, in one minute I say when this is correct. This answer is correct when you have like that. So 12 divided by four and times three. But when you have it in your parentheses, if you have situation like that, you'll have like four times three, first step parentheses. So you go with this one. So four times three, you start with this step. We will have like 12 and 12 divided by 12 equal to one. But this is correct. One, when you have a parentheses. So in our case, this is absolutely incorrect. We don't have parentheses, okay? So you want to be thinking in terms of group. So multiplication and division, yeah? And now we are scanning. Do I have multiplication division? Well, of course I do. I have division and multiplication. So now I'm asking myself, which is first from left to right? And this is important thing. Which is first from left to right? I have division before multiplication from left to right, yeah? So I'm going to do this. So we have like 12 divided by four. So 12 divided by four and times three. So we have like 12 divided by four, we will have like three. So this is the first math operation. We have division and multiplication. First one from left to right, this division. So we have three and we multiply it by three. This is the last step. And that's the only thing that left to do, which of course equal to, which of course equal to nine. And option, option A, I told before when option one is correct when you have a parenthesis right here. But this is absolutely incorrect in our case. This is our answer. Okay, now some of you out there, if you, if you, for example, plug in this into like a basic calculator, yeah, on your laptop or your telephones. So, you know, uh, the answer will be one, but then you like, like ask me why the answer will be one. This is because like you need to use your, for example, like scientific calculator or graphing calculator where you can just type in the problem like this and then hit enter and you'll see the answer is, is nine because your calculator is smart enough to know the order of operation. So if you do, if you plug in this into your like telephone calculator, you'll get, for example, I guess one, I guess. But if you want to, to get the correct answer, you need to plug in it into like scientific calculator or graphing calculator. Okay, so definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now, if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, right? If you are struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concept, subscribe to my channel. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. So, real quick once more. So, you have expression, doesn't matter what expression. Use this PMDMC order. And look, parentheses. Let's go to in our case. We have we have parentheses, we don't have parentheses, so we reject parentheses. Exponent, we don't have exponent. We have multiplication and division, but the main thing we need to work with group. So multiplication division have the same priority. So we have we need to work in group. We have group division multiplication. And if we have division multiplication from left to right, 
doesn't matter, the same priority, first divide, then multiply. If you have multiplication division, you first multiply and then divide. And we didn't have addition subtraction, but this is like the basic math, so I hope you understand this step and of course you, you know about addition and subtraction, so from left to right. Okay, thank you. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures, so thank you for your time and have a great day.